Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an exciting video. Well, for me anyway, because I love MAC lipsticks. For those of you who watch my channel for a little while, you will know that I am a little bit or a lot obsessed with MAC lipstick. I think they are my favorite lipsticks that are around. The formula of them is amazing. The color selection is just endless. And there's something for everybody. Now, not every MAC lipstick that I buy, I love. Some of them I love a little bit more than others, and that's what this video is about. These are kind of my top selection. I think I have about 10 lipsticks, but these are kind of my top selection or my most worn lipsticks. Some of them are a little bit braver than others. I'm going to swatch them on my lips so you can see exactly what they look like on me. Now naturally they're going to look different on you and everybody, but just give you kind of an indication because looking at them in the tube is not always the way that they transfer onto the lip. Well, I hope you enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you like me doing lip swatch videos. I think this is the first one I've ever done so if you'd like to see more in the future let me know. I have the lipsticks laid out in front of me I'm going in no particular order with them. So the first MAC lipstick I'm going to try on is called Viva Glam 2 and it is just this gorgeous brown type of nude color really really pretty very wearable and it's also quite a similar color to Velvet Teddy that Kylie Jenner is so obsessed with but it is just a lighter version of that. So that's just what that one looks like on the lips. It's just a really nice nude, like a dark nude. I always wear these lipsticks, kind of every lipstick I'm gonna talk about, I always wear them with a the lip liner. I just feel it enhances the wear of it and just kind of makes your lips look a little bit more voluminous. I've always kind of wanted bigger lips because I feel like my lips are a little bit thin. Sticks in particular like this color, it can kind of make your lips look a little bit larger than they actually are. So the next lipstick color I'm gonna try on is Brave and this is one of my favorite lipstick colors in the entire world it's just again like a dark ma mauvey purpley pink i don't know i'll put it on my lips and you can see exactly what i'm talking about so it transfers quite well on the lips it's quite a like the the lip color in the tube is actually what you get on your lips I am in love with this lip color. I always wear it with sore lip liner or wear a lip liner, one of them. And I just think it is really pretty. The finish on that again is satin. It's really, really easy to work with. It's really creamy on the lips. Brave is a lipstick that looks great on most skin tones. It's just a gorgeous color and I absolutely love it. It is one of my top picks if I was to recommend any lipsticks from all the lipsticks I show you today this would be one of my top ones. The next lipstick colour I'm going to show you is Up The Amp and this is a lipstick colour that whenever I wear I get compliments on it and I have a picture of me and one of my best friends Neve, and I'm wearing this lipstick in the picture and every time I look at it I just say what the hell's on my lips? Oh yeah up the amp because I just think it is a really nice kind of purple. So this is not a purple that's going to make your teeth look yellow so I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So that's just what that looks like on the lips. Again, this is one of my first purple lipsticks that I ever, ever got. And I just think it is one of the best. I've never found anything with such a nice formula. Formula. This is an amplified formula. I really, really love this. Like I said, one of my it's nearly one of my first even MAC lipstick. I remember getting it with Michelle. And I just think it's really, really pretty. Something unusual. The next lipstick colour I'm gonna wear is not for the faint hearted. This is Media by MAC. It is such an intensely dark lipstick and it is one of those fun ones. The reason why I'm including this is because it is a colour that I gravitate towards a lot in the autumn time and I just think it is a really pretty dark lipstick. The finish on this is satin. I think we're seeing a theme here. I quite like satin finishes. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on the lips. So of all the times I've ever tried on lipstick, I think that is probably one of the worst applications, but as you can see from it, it is a very deep, dark, um, vampy lip colour. It's really unusual. I've never really seen a lip colour like this around, and I just think it is something really special about it. Again, like I wear it in the winter time or the autumn time, and I think it looks really nice on the lips with kind of a any sort of eye look that you want to pair with it. Very nice and vampy. So the next lip colour I'm going to try on for you is Rebel. This is again a cult favourite lipstick. It is a satin finish <laughs> again. I really like these satin finish lipsticks and it is just a really gorgeous kind of plummy, plummy purpley kind of lipstick. It's not as dark as Media the last one there. 
again another messy application but as you can see from it I always thought there was a slight bit of purple to this as well I think it is really unusual again quite a vampy type of color again it's lovely to wear in the autumn time and I use this color quite regularly there is loads of dupes for it on the market but I don't think that anything has as nice a finish as this one I just think it's a really pretty color and when you pair it with the right eye makeup it really pops and I just think it is lovely I love wearing this actually with green eyeshadow the contrast between this lipstick and the green eyeshadow just goes really really well the next color I'm going to talk about is called captive and it is kind of a dark pink again a satin what the hell I didn't realize how many satin lipsticks I actually had and how much I enjoyed this finish So I think that Captive is again another one of those really nice kind of colours. It's quite similar, like I said, to Brave, just a little bit darker, same family. I just think it's a really flattering colour. And when you put your lip liner and everything on, it just comes together really well. Hi guys, so my camera cut out. I continued to swatch lipsticks and nothing was seen because I forgot to even check to see was it recording. But it is recording now, so I'm going to continue with my lipsticks. I think I had about four left. So next lipstick I'm going to talk about is called Angel. This is a cult classic lipstick. It's just one of those that probably everybody has in their collection, like a lipstick like this. Also Kim Kardashian was a huge wearer of this lipstick a couple of years ago. The finish on this is a frost finish, but it doesn't have like glitters or anything like that. And it's not a, I don't mean this in any disrespect, but it's not a granny frosted lipstick. This is a much more flattering frost. So that's just what Angel looks like on my lips. I absolutely love it. It was one of the first lipsticks I think I've ever gotten from MAC and I always have to have backups of it as well. I absolutely adore the tone of this lipstick. It's a gorgeous pink colour and I wear it with so many different lip liners. I kind of have a little bit of residue of lip liner on my lips with this as well but it is really wearable with a lot of different lip liners and I absolutely adore it for that reason. So next lipstick I'm going to talk about here is Faux and as you can see I don't really have a whole lot of it left. It is a, like a huge favourite of mine. It is one of my favourite lipsticks that I've gotten in recent times. So that's just what faux looks like on my lips. It is a satin finish. This is a really opaque lipstick. You only need one, maybe two coats of it and I absolutely adore it. It's really long lasting as well and I get tons of compliments when I wear this. So a lot of people seem to think it suits me. I, I really, really love it. And again, it's kind of one of those, what would you call it? It's like a mauve pink type of color. Like faux, again, would be kind of like a Kylie Jenner type of lip color. And it's just really wearable on a majority of skin tones as well. And faux is another one that I recommend to those of you who've never tried it before because it is really really pretty. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is my personal favourite and it is Creme Cup. You've seen me use this in tons of videos I absolutely adore. A lot of people compare Creme Cup to Angel and I'll show you them side by side. So this is Angel and this is Creme Cup and as you can see Angel is slightly darker it's slightly more pinky as well. You can see like from the two of them that they are very very close. This is slightly more nude and this is slightly more pink and all Obviously they have two different finishes, but they are very, very comparable. I just, I prefer Creme Cup a little bit more. I always, always loved Angel. It was one of my go-to lipsticks, but Creme Cup has slowly taken over. So I'm going to put that on now for you so you can see what it looks like on my lip. So it is the most gorgeous nude pink and I wear this with a lip liner a lot of the time. It's really, really nice. It's one of my fail safe lipsticks. It's one that I gravitate towards all the time. It's always in my bag, I'm always using it. Use it with a ton of different lip liners. I uh, can wear it with any sort of different eye look and it's just, it works. It just works. It's just beauty in a lips. I think it's fantastic and another one that I really really would recommend again if I didn't say it's a cream sheen finish on it So it's quite glossy looking as well. So out of all my picks we're on my final lipstick and this one is shy girl So it looks like that it's coming up very dark on camera But it's a very light nude and it kind of has an orange under base to it So it's really easy to wear on a lot of skin tones I find that nudes are one of the most difficult color for me to wear because I do a lot of self tanning so I'm always a little bit darker than my natural skin tone and when I wear something really really light it kind of looks like just flesh on my skin and it looks just it, do, it does it does nothing for me so I like a nude that's like this 
So it's definitely a little more orange than a usual nude, but I really, really like it. I do always wear it with a lip liner. I love to wear it with Boldly Bare. I find that some of these lipsticks make my lips look a little bit more poutier. Anything that makes my lips look slightly bigger is just a positive for me. So I'm just going to put that beside Creme Cup that you can see that they're both nudes, but one is a pinkier nude and one is a more orange nude. And again, I love both of these lipsticks a lot. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in my next video then. Bye!